Hello everyone, welcome to Root to Mathematics. In this video, we are going to solve an interesting algebraic problem. So the given question is the sum of values x, y as satisfies that the equation x plus y multiplied with 2 to the power y minus x equals to 1 and x plus y whole to the power x minus y equals to 2 simultaneously is. So we have given two equation and we are asked to find the sum of values of x and y. So, so our aim must be to find the value of x and y first then find the sum of values of x, y. Okay. So, without any delay, let's start the solution. So, our first equation is x plus y multiplied with 2 to the power y minus x equals to 1 is our first equation and our second equation is x plus y whole to the power x minus y equals to 2 is our second equation. So we know that exponential rule that is a to the power n equals to b. Then we can write a equals to b to the power 1 by n. So by applying this exponential rule in our equation 2. So we can write x plus y equals to 2 to the power 1 by x minus y now substituting this value of x plus y in equation 1 we get 2 to the power 1 by x minus y multiplied with 2 to the power y minus x equals to 1 so here you can see that the bases are same so we have an exponential rule that is a to the power n multiplied with a to the power m is equals to a to the power n plus m so by applying this exponential rule we can write 2 to the power 1 by x minus y plus y minus x equals to 1. This implies is 2 to the power 1 by x minus y plus y minus x equals to. This one can be written as 2 to the power 0 because any number to the power 0 is 1. So here you can see that the bases are same in the both side of equation. So we can equate the power. So we have 1 by x minus y plus y minus x equals to 0. Now by taking LCM in our left hand side we have x minus y in denominator and numerator 1 plus y minus x multiplied with x minus y equals to 0. So we have 1 by taking minus 1 common here, so we have minus x minus y multiplied with x minus y equals to 0. So we can write 1 minus x minus y whole square equals to 0. So this implies is x minus y whole square equals to 1. This implies is x minus y equals to plus or minus 1. So we have two values of x minus y that is plus 1 and minus 1. So when x minus y equals to plus 1. Okay. So from equation 2 we have x plus y whole to the power x minus y equals to 2. Now by putting the value of x minus y in our equation 2. So we get x plus y equals to 2. Okay. Let us take it equation A and this one equation B. Now adding equation A and equation B we have x minus y equals to 1 and x plus y equals to 2. So y, y get cancelled out. So we have 2x equals to 3 and x equals to 3 by 2. Now substituting the value of x in equation b we have x plus y equals to 2 is our equation b. So y equals to 2 minus 3 by 2 this is equals to 1 by 2. So here we get x and y as 3 by 2 and 1 by 2. Now our second condition when x minus y equals to minus 1. Similarly, from equation 2, we have x plus y whole to the power x minus y equals to 2. 
let's just put the value of x minus y here so we have x plus y whole to the power minus 1 equals to 2 so we know a exponential rule that is a by b whole to the power minus n equals to b by a whole to the power n by applying this exponential rule we can write 1 by x plus y equals to 2 so by cross multiplication we can write x plus y equals to 1 by 2 let's take it equation b1 and this one as equation a1 and this one as equation a1 okay now adding equation a1 and equation b1 we have x minus y equals to minus 1 and x plus y equals to 1 by 2 okay minus y plus y get cancel out so we have 2x equals to minus 1 plus 1 by 2 then 2x equals to minus 1 by 2 x equals to minus 1 by 4 now putting the value of x in equation b1 we have x plus y equals to 1 by 2 is our equation b1 so let's just put the value of x here so we have y equals to 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 this is nothing but 3 by 4 so here from x minus y equals to minus 1 we get x y as minus 1 by 4 and 3 by 4 so values of x and y are 3 by 2 1 by 2 and minus 1 by 4 3 by 4 so what we are asked to find is the sum of values x and y. So sum of values of x comma y is 3 by 2 plus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 4 plus 3 by 4. So by taking LCM for we have 6 plus 2 minus 1 plus 3. This is nothing but 10 by 4. This is equals to 5 by 2 is our answer. I hope you have understood the solution. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button for more such interesting videos. Thank you.